The days of having a drink or two before driving are over. And that's according to Transport Minister Fiki Lembalula when he announced the law that motorists must present 0% alcohol level when being tested. This follows reports that there's been a notable increase in fatalities on the roads due to alcohol. But the Automobile Association says this is impractical. We had a chat with the spokesperson, Leighton Beard. Look, I think you've got a situation where the law is being proposed and probably will be implemented. Um, but I think from our point of view, it's going to be a meaningless and ineffective implementation of the law. Um, you, in a situation where you have an existing law, you've got current legislation, and, and we feel that any um, legislation regarding drunk driving should be implemented and should be enforced uh, before you actually bring new legislation in. So what we are saying is, is that you've got a situation now where uh, there is a law, um, just apply that law, increase your enforcement, increase your prosecution of that law, and that will act as a deterrent uh, to people who want to drink and drive. Drunk driving is a behavioral issue, and it's not going to be solved through legislation. It is going to be solved through prosecution and proper law enforcement. Introducing new legislation is going to be ineffective. So what does the Automobile Association propose instead? First of all, you've got the legislation operated in that legislation. Um, 0 0.05 per, uh, uh, milligrams per 100 liters, milliliters of blood um, is, is, is a fair enough uh, percentage for, for, for a blood alcohol concentration. Um, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Apply that legislation, enforce the law and enforce it properly. Make sure that you've got enough law enforcers on the road Make sure that all the equipment they are using is uh, working and up to standard. Make sure that any blood tests that are taken uh, are dealt with and disposed of quickly. Make sure that the courts prosecute those to the full extent of the law and that offenders are treated harshly and send that message to the public. So that's the first thing that I think we would say. The second thing is, is that you need education, education and education. You need to train young children how to be better road users you need to train all the children how to use the roads when they're on bicycles and on motorbikes. Um, you need ongoing education of existing drivers on the dangers of drunken driving. It needs to be a societal behavioral change, and that's not going to happen through implementing new laws. It's going to happen through people seeing that there are consequences for bad behavior. Leighton says we need a holistic approach in dealing with road safety from ensuring that we are driving safer vehicles to government maintaining the road network. But it's the motorists that had compelling arguments. I think it's a brilliant idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. So the less drinking, uh, less accidents, and 0% is definitely the right thing to do. I think it's a bit harsh. I think, I think you should be able to have at least one drink when you go out. So I just think it's a bit harsh to go from what it is to zero percent so quickly. I think it's necessary considering the times that we're living in now. Otherwise, on a normal occasion, it genuinely doesn't make sense. But over the past weekend, especially that first weekend when we had the alcohol ban lifted, there were a lot of um, car accidents and a lot of deaths and too many intersections with bodies everywhere. It was gruesome, it was all over Twitter. That's not something I genuinely want to see now during the pandemic, so I think it's necessary. Also, it'll teach people to drink at home rather than have to go somewhere to drink. We will certainly bring you updates on this story as they happen, but for now, let's take you back to a story that we did on hot cross buns and the fact that they do contain alcohol. JMPD spokesperson Wayne Minar spoke to us at the time. There's no concern uh, about uh, the eating of hot cross buns because the alcohol content in hot cross bun is very low. The raisins and the dough and the yeast, all of that uh, does ferment and it forms alcohol. But it's a very little alcohol. So if one eats a hot cross bun and you test immediately on a breathalyzer, you will get a reading. Just the same way as you would drink a mouthful of strong alcohol like whiskey or brandy and spit it out. So it would also give a reading immediately if you get tested immediately. Government has also hinted on other regulations being introduced to regulate alcohol in the country. Hey everyone, my name is Ayanda Nklapo and you're watching Joburg Today. <laughs>